Prepper Bill. Uh, today I want to talk about MREs and how old are your MREs and are they even from this decade? Uh, I came back a couple days ago from that military show in Swap Meet where it rained for freaking forever. No, it, it rained for like a day and a half, and I videotaped some of that. I think videotape everything like a one and two is pretty pretty busy, but um, I got a couple things there. I bought I bought this military case here. And that's for the medical chest that I bought uh, last year from Coleman's Military. So that way if I got to transport it, I have something to put it in. I got a couple of these voltage regulators. The newer style, the solid state, they're for the ambulance. Because I'm overcharging a little bit, so I got, got that. That should fix my problem. My PTO that I got on here, that's for the winch, the power takeoff. The seals down here are leaking all over the place. And I came back from that parade and I had a giant frickin' puddle. So I had to get a plate for that. Now, the main reason I'm making this video is I came back from the thing, the show. I got the ambulance fixed, fixed the PTO leak, driving around. I'll rebuild that at another time. I'm not, I don't have a winch for it anyway. But. I was watching people buying cases of MREs. One guy was selling for 65 or 75 bucks a case, which is pretty good because they have gone up like crazy. And another guy was buying them and selling them, doubling the price, like $150 down the end. Another guy was opening them up and selling each individual package. $15 for one meal. That's crazy. But the reason I want to make this video is because people were buying these and saying, we need to stock up. These are good for 20, 25 years. You can put, they're easy. Just throw them in your attic or throw them under your bed. They're not good for 20, 25 years. They're meant to last three to five years, depending. Now, these have date codes on them. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but since like 2000 or the 90s or something, I forget. This has a 1220 on it. I don't know if that's not gonna, it's right here. And it's not gonna focus in, is it? 1220. The first number is the year. The last three digits are the day of the year that these were made. The problem is these are only meant to last three to five years, and then they start over again. According to, if you look at this, this is supposed to be 2001, or no, 2021, because it's the one, uh, the, the 220th day of the year. When I, I got a couple of them here. When I looked them up on the date code generator, I'll put a link below. There's a couple of them you can look up. This was made 
in August of 2021. I know for a fact I've had this in my truck. This was in a bag over here that I took out of my other truck. I've had these over five years. So actually, since I know that this is older than three months, that one is from 2001. This is 20 years old. And people are buying these thinking that these are good. They might still be good, but they're probably not. You might get one or two good ones. They don't taste that good anyway. So if you get a bad one, I don't know how you're going to know until you get sick. If you're buying something like this, this is the old style from the 90s. And I've seen these for sale too. There's no number. There's no way to check these. This is another one I opened up. This is like the other one. The Warfighter recommended. Everything is vacuum sealed in a pack. Here's a number. Oh, can you see it? Right here's the number you want. 1208. When you type that in, it is 2021, the 208th day of the year. This was made this year. No. This is 20 years old. This is from 2001. When you get these, they should be tight. They should be sucked in. When you open a box, they're all shoved in there. They should be tight. If you get one that's puffed out with air, see that air in there? That's probably not any good. If you have this style, this is from the 90s. Don't buy these. And another thing, you can buy these in the box, sealed. Now look at this one. 8, 22 of 11. Now this one's easier to tell because it's in the box. Now I could be wrong. Uh, I could be wrong with that date. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not 20 years old, it's 10 years old. But, <laughs> but still, if you, these are only good for three to five years if stored properly. Now, another thing they have these, I don't know if you can see that. Under the date, you'll see this sticker. It's an orange sticker, like with a three-tone ring. It should be orange, like a three-tone orange. If you see that dark spot like mine is, it means it went over 120 degrees. These are probably not safe to eat. You might have one or two. You might, maybe you can eat them all. If you get this box for five or ten bucks, maybe you're getting a deal. I wouldn't pay more than that for it because you don't know what you're going to have in here. So... This was produced in August of 2011. The inspection test is 14. This is when it should be inspected because by, theoretically, by 2014, you should have eaten these already. So anything past that is marginal. You're, you're, it's at your own risk. But I've seen people buying these, not looking at this. Some people think, well, they're good for 20 years. They're not. This case might be bad. To, you know, if they had this on a plane in, Af in Afghanistan and it came back on a plane, it, it was no good when it came back. Be you can buy these. There's really no difference between the military, Department of Defense. Does this have it on there? You know, it's got the, oh, you can't see it. 
the De Department of Defense logo on it. Just because it says U.S. government property, people want these things. There's no difference between this and the ones you buy for civilian use. When I was working for the Red Cross and FEMA doing stuff during the, the storms, they had ones from the government that were civilian issue through the military for the Red Cross. They were, instead of being, these are meant to be airdropped and dropped into battlefields and they're more heavy duty packaging. That, that's the only difference. And you're paying more for these. You're better off going to a website. I forget the names already. Sabaku or something like that. You can buy brand new ones, civilian made, with a good date that's good for three to five, maybe seven years. But, you know, depending on how they ship it, if it's sitting in an Amazon truck or a U-Haul truck for three days in a hundred degree temperature, they might not be any good either. But be careful what you're buying. You're, you know, you're putting your life on the line. If you're buying these, expecting it might be easier than buckets. And you're only getting 12 meals out of here. They taste like, well, the ravioli tastes okay, but the rest, the cookies and all that, they taste like shit. You're going to eat more than three of these a day because they don't fill you up. I mean, they're good for soldiers, I guess, out in the field, but for a fat guy like me, they don't. But the civilian ones and the ones for like the Red Cross, you know, when they have the natural disasters and they put everybody, you know, in a, a shelter, they're pretty much like this. I don't know if you get all three, but this is, this says 1208 on it, and I think that's 2011, or it could be older. I'm trying to think when these first came out, but either way, I know this is over 10 years old, because... The one is the year, and I know it didn't come out this year because I've had these over five years. But it's not, it's not expanded, so this might still be good. This one, I, I would not eat anything out of this one. It's all puffed up. There's, well, I know this is from the 90s because, I mean, you can look it up. The, you know, they change just for the hell of it. We're gonna do that razor blade. Let's open it up. Doesn't smell bad, but got a cookie. Oh, it's a fudge brownie. Twelve eight eight. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that's supposed to be the two hundredth and eighty eighth day of the year, and according to the new numbers, this would be twenty twenty one, and it's not. So it's at least ten years old. But you need to know that when you buy it. If you don't get the case with the main number on it, you're not going to know. What else is in here? I'm waiting for something raunchy to stick out. The MRE heater, a spoon. Now this isn't really puffed out. What is this? Beef ravioli and meat sauce. All right, don't. Oh yeah. Twelve six three date. Potato sticks. Now I haven't seen them forever in these. I'm sure they're still good. I don't see anything that's puffed up that's bad. You got your grape jelly. Look at that Tabasco sauce. Well, first you got, what's this one? Wheat snack bread. But you see, it's still, still sucked in. That might still be good. I'll try it one day when I'm real hungry. Orange beverage drink. You can see this. It's got a little thing of Tabasco sauce in there. Can you see that? Let's see if we can turn it. Tabasco sauce. And it's 
kind of dried up and empty looking. So I just wanted to put that out there to these people that are buying cases of military issue MREs thinking they're better than the stuff you're going to get from other companies. They're not, they're just packaged more heavy duty. And the only time they really come up for sale is when they're no good and they have expired the military standards because they're really not meant for civilian resale. And it says it right on it. U.S. government property. Commercial resale is unlawful. Don't get in trouble. So, look for the sticker. I'm sure these are no good because they're over 10 years old. Uh, they're good to take camping and you're throwing your truck if you need something to eat. Maybe you got a snack, maybe you don't. Don't rely on it. I'll just seeing people walking by with these hand carts. Oh, these are good for 20 years. Oh, these will last forever. Now, the old like World War II C rations and K rations are written in a can. I've seen people eating them. I've never actually, I think I saw one video where a guy had a bad one. And I know a guy whose father had a bunch of the, the canned ones from World War II. And he cracked them up and they were still good. I, I in 50 years, 40 years, I don't know what these are going to be like. So this is Pony Prepper Bill. I'll put a link to the code generator or the data thing. You type the number in if you want. If you see these, you know, in a store or something, I mean, I would say, you know, before you buy it, look at the date. But if it's over 10 years old, you don't know. You don't know. So, I'm just putting that out there for you. This is Piney Prepper Bill, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.